We're continuing with the uh, great catch of fish in John 21, 1 through 14. So here's Jesus on the shore and he yells out, cast the net on the right side of the boat and you'll find some. Uh, it's interesting. Jesus uh, could see the fish. Uh, strange suggestion. No logical reason uh, why fishing in the morning light. It would be better to fish at night. Uh, there was no reason why fishing on one side of the boat would be better than the other. It wasn't even uh, directly a test uh, to for them to trust in Jesus. This probably was a test of their ability to find uh, God's guidance in small and unsuspected ways. Uh, when they did, they were unable to haul the net because of so many fish. The disciples did as the man on shore asked and were successful beyond expectation. This shows a difference between doing work without divine guidance and doing work with divine guidance. Um, we got to stop doing church work and start doing the work of the church that only can uh, happen when we uh, finally say what John said, it's the Lord. And John, uh, the disciple Jesus loved, told Peter, it's the Lord. Uh, John reached the tomb before Peter. Uh, I think John was younger, could outrun him and recognize the fact that Jesus resurrection way before Peter do. Uh, here, John also recognized the identity of the stranger on the shore before Peter did. John knew that anything this wonderful had to come from Jesus. Peter picked up the outer garment he had taken off and wrapped it around himself and he jumped into the sea. Uh, John was the uh, first one to recognize uh, Peter's the first one to jump in. He shows his devotion. He threw on the outer garment, uh, threw, on, uh, threw himself into the water, reached Jesus as soon as possible. The boat couldn't move quickly for uh, enough, for Peter had left, and uh, John um, first wanted to see him, but they didn't want to lose the catch. And um, the other disciples followed in the boat, towing the net full of fish. The other disciples followed doing hard work, and bring up the full uh, net. And uh, our question this morning is, how do you respond to Jesus? God bless.